All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. All right, so I was just coming back with another lesson. And I'm going to title it something around um, choose, basically choose, you know, life and not death, you know, because. Like the scripture I'm about to go into mentions Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He said before before us, you know, the two uh, two choices. You know, you either gonna go right, do what you're supposed to do, or go left. You know, basically giving into the flesh, giving into Satan. All right, going in the way of this world. All right, that broad path ultimately, like everybody else is headed in, that leads to destruction. All right, and the reason that I was um going into this. The, uh, this lesson basically is because through the spirit when I got home, you know, just got off work and all I was uh, meditating on like, you know, you in the flesh. So I was just meditating on how like, man, I feel like just kicking back, maybe just, you know, watching some, uh, you know, some shit I watch on TV, not TV, but, you know, YouTube and um, or, you know, do some play a game or whatever. Just to kick back for a second. And then I was like, no, nah, I'm going to um, watch, you know, some videos. So, you know, the very, through the spirit, the very first video I throw on, a brother, he going into around, around the, the same situation that basically I was just dealing with, with myself, you know. Because as soon as I started watching the video, the brother, the other brother mentioned how he was pretty much uh, debating on whether he wanted to do a lesson or listen to music. You know, and then a lot fell on doing the lesson. And I was just like, damn, you know, that's crazy because I was just thinking the same exact thing before even playing that video, you know. So it was just further confirmation that I made the right choice as far as doing something uh, that's spiritually beneficial for you, for you instead of beneficial for your, um, for your flesh. Because then what did that do for me? It made me want to do this lesson right here. All right. So that's why I came up with that title for for this lesson. So the, the first scripture I want to start with is Deuteronomy 30 and 19. And it says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Yeah, and these are the choices that we have every single day. All right. Whether um every choice that we make is a choice, you know, about life or death, pretty much, in these last days that we're in, all right. And we should be letting the choices that we make be choices that are made towards um choices of life, man. Choosing the ways of life and the, choosing the ways of life are choosing the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, because that's what's going to give us life, all right. That's what's going to give us, like it goes into the next um, verse, all right? It's, that's what's going to give us um, life and length of days by following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and not the ways of this world, all right? Because if you follow the ways of your flesh, what is that going to do? It's going to corrupt you. It's going to destroy you. It's going to take away from you following after uh, following after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, ultimately, all right? Dealing with like the apostles be going going into about you know jake not wanting to do their lessons all right it's a simple matter of jake choosing you basically choosing death over life because you don't if you're not serving yahweh bashim yahweh shai who are you serving you know you're serving yourself and you're serving satan ultimately all right because you're not doing what you're supposed to do as a man of yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right we were placed here for a reason man not just to live our life Know you're Israelite and this still be a nigga in America, basically. And, and be content with knowing that you're an Israelite and just doing what you want to do. And then when Yahweh Shai return, expecting him to deliver you. And you haven't been doing nothing for him the whole time. That's not how it works, you know. You have to, if you're choosing to actually believe in Yahweh Shai, it comes with a lot of things, man. If you actually do believe truly, you're going to be doing what you need to do. All right, giving in more time to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and that's the battle in itself, you know. All right, 
Cause um, I'm a matter of fact, I'm gonna get it. Cause that's like I said, that's a battle within itself. All right. The flesh against the spirit. And that's a, a daily battle. All right. And you can't you can't just be letting it, letting um the flesh always win, man. All right. You gotta put in a fight, man. Because, of course, it's not an easy thing to do. If it was, everybody would be doing it. Yet, you got to put forth that effort, man. All right? And then it really, you, at first, it may not be easy. All right? Yet, if you continually um, fighting to give and um, to fighting to do the things in the spirit, it becomes easy. You know? Versus if you always giving it to the flesh, of course, it's going to be harder to get in the spirit. Because why? You always giving it to the flesh and your flesh is overpowering your spirit at that point. Instead of you giving more into the spirit, then you're less inclined to want to do things of the flesh because you're so heavy into the spirit. So you see how easily you can get off balance, so to speak, by giving too much into the flesh. And that's what a lot of Jakes are doing, basically, for uh, Jakes that don't do their, their three lessons at least a week, you know. you Like the apostle will be mentioning here it is, the seven days in a week, and you can't even do three videos, and they don't even have to be long. They could be ten minutes, you know, real short and brief. Yes, you can't even make time for that, but you you make time for everything else, you know, everything else but what's going to actually deliver you, man. And that's serving y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai, and that shows that you don't you don't take it seriously, and that shows that you don't have fear if you're not doing your lessons, all right. If you're not doing, giving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai his due time, all right? Because he, with everything that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is getting ready to deliver us from, you can't even do, um, give a, a brief moment of your time to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, feed his, his flock, all right? Tell our people uh, what's going on or doing lessons to encourage brothers or exhort brothers to continue on in the faith. And you claim to actually believe, man. Why would Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, deliver you in the times to come, man? When you didn't even choose none of his ways, really. You claim to believe, but you didn't even... You, your, where was your works, you know? If you have faith, you're going to show it in your works. All right, but back to the scripture. In Matthew 26 and 41, all right, it says, Watch and pray that she enter not into temptation. And that's right, man. You got to watch and you got to pray, man. All right. And the apostles always mention that elder and apostles, man, about prayer. All right. About watching. All right. And it says that's what it says so that you enter not into temptation, man. All right. Because you you go through temptations daily. That's why you got to pray daily, man. That's why you got to be in the spirit daily. Walk in the spirit because the, the temptations come all the time. All right. Going back to the title of the lesson, man, you got to choose life, the ways of life and not the ways of death, man. That's the temptation that presents itself all the time, trying to tempt you to choose what what's going to be the ways of death ultimately. All right. And that's that's the flesh that's trying to tempt you. That's Satan trying to tempt you, you know. But continuing on, it says, watch and pray that she enter not into, to, into temptation, that the spirit um the the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yeah, that's why, like I said, it's a it's a battle daily, man, to be in the spirit, because the spirit is always willing. All right, of course, the spirit always want you're you always want to be in the spirit. Yeah, what the flesh is weak, and the flesh doesn't want to do that. The flesh is uncomfortable about doing that, and you gotta force yourself to be uncomfortable, man. It's not about being comfortable right now, cause this isn't our rest. All right. Yeah, you you want to you you know, you might be tired. Like I said, you might like for me, for example, I just got off work whatever. I wanted to just chill or whatever. Yet I'm doing what I'm doing right now, you know, which is this lesson. All right. The flesh is weak. My flesh wants to chill. It doesn't even want to do what I'm doing right now with this lesson. Yet the spirit is willing. All right. My spirit is willing to do this lesson. It wants to do this lesson. All right. It was my flesh that didn't want to do it. Yet, I, I forced myself to get uncomfortable as far as going against what my flesh wanted to do and doing the spirit, man. 
all right because your flesh is always wants to do what's contrary to the spirit man that's the that's the battle like the scriptures say all right they're contrary one to the other so it's a daily battle man but yet you can't you can't just let the flesh beat you you got to beat the flesh man have your body under subjection man all right and then the more that you give into the spirit the easier it is to stay in the spirit all right because you're giving into the flesh less and less man and you should be in that spirit right now, all right? Because here it is, we're in the last days, you're seeing prophecies coming to pass and things, everything that's going on. And Jake's still playing around, man. And that's how that's how Jake is at the end, at the end of the day, man, all right? It's like we, uh, you know, saying that we got out here, all right? At the end of the day, Jake gonna do what they want to do. Because you can sit here and tell, you know, tell Jake a billion, a million times, the same thing, yet at the end of the day, Jake gonna do what they wanna do, man. If you don't wanna if you don't wanna get on point and do what you need to do, you don't you're not gonna do it, man. And ultimately Yah Bashim Yah Shah just gonna spew you out out his mouth. Alright? If you being lukewarm, like the apostle always goes into, man. And that's showing you that you don't have any fear. If you if you already you already know that, because we all should know this, alright? Because we, we, uh, we should know the scriptures, so we should all know, know that. You know, that's one of the basics. And Revelation is about being hot, neither hot or cold. And here it is, you still you still being lukewarm. Not even being lukewarm, you know, some dudes not even doing no videos at all. you just being straight up cold. And you thinking that nothing's going to happen to you. That's why you got to you gotta give into the spirit more. Choose the ways of life, man. Not the ways of death, man. Because the ways of this world are the ways of death, man. You should be more focused on serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? And the next scripture I wanted to get is Galatians 5 and 16. Because like I said, this isn't, of course it isn't an easy thing. Alright? We all know that. That's part of the battle. And that's why it's it's not everybody who's going to be the ones who are chosen to receive salvation, man. Because look at the masses of our people, two thirds of our people. Are they are they putting up a fight against their flesh? No, man. They're totally giving into the flesh, man. They're doing whatever pleases them. All right, whatever makes their flesh happy. Yeah, we can't be in that spirit, man. Not everything that pleases your flesh is going to be good for you, man. And you can't just be always worried about what's good for you, man. You got to be worried about. What's good for your spirit, man? What's good for your salvation? What's good for your the ways of life, man? All right, not what's going to be good for you to feel to make your flesh feel good. Hey, man, fuck how your flesh feels, man. It's about the spirit, man. All right, because doing works of the spirit is what's going to deliver you out of this hell, man. All right, and this is Galatians five. And I'm going to start at 16. And it says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And that's what we have to do more of, man. And what I'm saying applies to myself first and foremost, you know. All right. Because it says, oh, walk, ye, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And that's how you get out of the lust of the flesh, by walking in the Spirit, man. Being more in the Spirit, you're less inclined to... To be um, fulfilling the lust of the flesh. Alright. And clearly you can see that it's something that's off balance. If you're not even able to do three videos a week. You're fulfilling the lust of the flesh. To to the highest level at that point. <laughs> you know. Because you're not. What, how are you walking in the spirit. When you're not even doing a minimum of three videos man. Alright. And like the Apostle Gabar went into. Like really should be. Um, well Antar. You know. Really, you should be do, able to do more than three. Three is just the you know the the um the the minimum requirement. All right. Yet that shows you the spirit that Jake is in that that don't do their videos. All right. You fulfilling the lust of the flesh. You know, point blank, period. Because you could easily do uh, in transit, uh, on your break if you're working. All right, it's always some you got some point in your day where you have 10 minutes to do a lesson, man. Like I said, it doesn't have to be drawn out. 
you can find easily find 10 minutes, man. All right. You got all type of time for 10 minutes to do a lesson. If that's the case, if you really press for time like that. All right. So it ain't, it ain't no, no excuses at the end of the day. It's really just you fulfilling your lust of your flesh instead of fulfilling um, the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And walking in the spirit. <clears throat> but continuing on, it says, For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Yeah, and that's the daily battle, man. Battling against the flesh, the, fle the flesh against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. They're completely contrary, because like I was going into, your flesh wants to be comfortable, it wants to do things that's pleasing to the flesh all right everything that's basically contrary to the ways of your spirit all right to what's beneficial for your spirit so you have to make yourself uncomfortable basically because you're gonna you're not gonna feel uncomfortable necessarily in your flesh or anything i mean not in your um in, i mean in your spirit you're not gonna feel uncomfortable in your spirit you're gonna feel uncomfortable in your flesh man because you don't want to do it you're, you're going out of your so-called comfort zone and you got to get out of that man all right, fuck being comfortable. All right, it's not about being comfortable. We can be comfortable when we in the kingdom, man. Right now, we're in slavery, man. We already we already in an uncomfortable predicament. We here it is. We're in slavery already. All right, so f f fuck being com um comfortable, man. Make yourself uncomfortable. Force yourself to be in the spirit. If you have a problem with trying to get in the spirit, force it, man. As far as do it, shoot. Just force it. Yeah, do it. All right? Because it's a daily battle. Don't just be like, oh, I'm going to do it later. Because then later never comes, man. All right? And it's, it's going to happen sometimes where you might not do a, do a lesson and you just do it later. Don't get me wrong. Yet, overall, I'm saying you got to be in that type of mind frame, in that type of spirit. All right? Where you making yourself uncomfortable, man. You're doing... What you need to do in the spirit, even though your flesh is uncomfortable about it. All right. And continuing on, verse 18 it says, But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not. Well, that was the main point. It says, But if ye be, uh, be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. But the main point was uh, verse 17 and 16. All right. For the flesh lusts of against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. And that's exactly what the flesh wants, man. You to um to not do the things that you should that you would. All right, the things that you should do. All right. That's why you have to make yourself uncomfortable, because your flesh doesn't want you to do lessons. Your flesh doesn't want you to be in the spirit. Your flesh doesn't want you to please Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? That's why you have to make yourself uncomfortable, man. Make your flesh uncomfortable. Do do things for the spirit, man. Even if you don't feel like doing it, all right, you're not comfortable about it or whatever, man, Get make yourself uncomfortable then, all right? You're not we're, in, we're not supposed to be comfortable. We're in hell, all right? We should... We already uncomfortable as it is. You got to work in nine to five, pay bills and shit. All right. Deal with all type of hell living here already. Shit. You should already be used to being uncomfortable. Yet, you know, it just comes down to Jake really loved being in hell at that point. All right. If you just totally fulfilling the lust of the flesh and you, you're not willing to make yourself uncomfortable to fulfill um, the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and walk in the spirit. All right, and the last scripture I wanted to get is in um, Apocrypha, Second Ezra, nine and seven, and it says, "And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by his faith, whereby ye have belief." And that's is how that's how, how we're going to escape, man. Here it is. You want to be saved, right? When all hell breaks loose, this is how you're going to escape by by your works, man. If you ain't doing shit, how are you how are you planning to escape? Because it says it right here, you're gonna escape by your works. All right, yes faith yes faith is included. Yes, you're gonna escape by works and faith, man. 
whereby you believe. So if you believe, you're going to have the works and the faith, man. Both of them, not just one, all right? Not just saying you have the faith, all right? And never doing no videos, never doing no lessons and stuff. No, you're going to have both of them, man. Works and faith, all right? Whereby you believed. And this is how we're going to escape from all the hell that's coming here to Babylon. All right? This is how we're going to be saved. So you need to get uncomfortable, man. Do what you need to do in the spirit. All right? And fuck your flesh. We're continuing on to verse 8. It says, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. And this is how we're going to be preserved from the, uh, the perils, the said perils that we know are coming. All right. The economic collapse, the mark of the beast, World War Three, the destruction of Babylon, the race wars, uh, Revelation 12 and 12, Esau coming with that great wrath. If you want to be the, the, uh, preserved from all these perils, man, the plagues and pestilences, well, this is what you got to do, you know? You're going to, what it say in verse 7, man, you're going to escape, you shall be able to escape by your works and by your faith, whereby you believe, man. So if you actually believed and have faith like you claim you do, it's going to show through your works, man. And your works are doing lessons. You know, that's part of the, the work, man. It ain't just going out there like the apostles, elders, and other brothers mentioned all the time. It's not just going out there one day throughout the week, man. It's more than that. All right? You got to really give your life over to Yahabashim Yahushai, man. If you want to live in the world to come, you got to give your life up now on this side, man. That's the balance to it. Giving your life up now to receive life in the world to come, man. All right? And if you're not in that spirit, you don't want to be saved. You don't want to escape. You want to stay here in Babylon, ultimately. If you want to continue to fulfill the lust of the flesh instead of making yourself uncomfortable in the flesh and fulfill the ways of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and walk in the spirit, ultimately, you don't, you're not in the spirit and you want to just be here and be destroyed. All right? Because that's what your actions are showing. And like the saying goes, your actions speak louder than words, man. All right? So let your actions speak loud and show that you're in the spirit. All right? So I'm going to wrap it up right there through the spirit. You know, I just wanted to go into that while it was on my spirit to do this lesson. Like I said, it just got sparked in my mind to do it while I was watching um, this elder brother video. You know, so with that, I'm going to give all praises again to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. Inshallah, I came out there preaching his word, truth, sincerity. Inshallah.